the, the point is, you cannot leave a 274 billion market that you've been engaged in of goods, of services, of capital, of people, and think that it's not going to hurt. And you have to understand what that hurt means. It means people's jobs. It means people's livelihoods. It means people experiencing chaotic lives, many of whom already have chaotic lives. I've got to say, for Charles, Eton, Cambridge, maybe leaving with no deal, no problem. For Jacob Rees-Mogg and his sovereign wealth fund and all those disaster capitalists, they will make money. But for ordinary people, they will suffer. They will suffer terribly. And it is a travesty that we've got to a place where a mainstream political party could want to wreck this kind of havoc on our country. We have to stand up to it. This is not an Etonian joke. This is a serious chasm can, can that will break this country in half. Never mind the fact that there were lies told. They told you'd get 350 million. They told you Turks were arriving. They said they'd have 40 trade deals. None of it's turned out to be true. And for that reason, once we've got a deal, if the British people want that deal, then we will implement it the day after we've had that public vote. But the British people should be allowed, in their own interests, to have the option to remain within the club that is the European Union. Absolutely. <laughs>